What is up, all you beautiful people? What's up, you guys? Today, we are having a crawfish boil. Here I have about three pounds of crawfish. I have purple potatoes, uh, red potatoes, and little Yukon golds. Um, cucumber, sausage, corn, lemon, and then I have just a little dipping sauce that I made, a little dipping seafood sauce. And then to drink, I got an Arizona iced tea in my mason jar with all my eyes. You guys already know. I've been liking these Arizona teas lately. Like, they're just, they're just good. And like, what's, I mean, I, I love tea with my seafood boils. I feel like it's the perfect balance between the saltiness and, mmm. So let's dig in. Today is also going to be a Puta Chronicles. It's been a while. And I asked you guys, what do you guys want? And you, everybody voted Seafood Boil and Puta Chronicles. So that's what we're doing today, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Mm. <laughs> it's andouille sausage. And these purple potatoes, you guys already know, I love using them in my seafood boils. They're sweet. They're delicious. Oh, mm. Mm. These potatoes taste like candy. Mm. Am I already getting seafood sauce all over my face? Guys, oh man, I just got sauce on my face and my shirt. Mm. <laughs> you guys, I haven't had <clears throat> crawfish in so long. Mm. So good. Moving this forward because I'm trying to um hold on let me move it forward and then back a little bit so that I can um yeah so I can get closer because I'm dropping this everywhere mm. I think it was Milo that commented to do um sausage cucumbers and rice i forgot about how good that is it's definitely something i will be doing in the near future <clears throat> oh my All this oil it just drips down everywhere. Oh, I'm good. So, this uh, Puta Chronicles is going to be about a time that. A time that, like, brought me and my brother-in-law together, like, as friends. You know what I mean? 
because when I first met him, <laughs> let me tell you guys, I did not like him at all. I didn't like that he would hang around my friends. I just wasn't a fan of him. My brother-in-law likes to be the center of attention. He's loud. Um, I guess I am too. Not so much like center of attention, but I just didn't like him. <clears throat> and, um, I used to work at this haunt. It's a haunted attraction. And, um, one night all my friends show up and he's with them. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, why is this guy here? So I'm dressed up in full makeup and he doesn't recognize me. Um, He's like next to me and doesn't even recognize me. Full makeup, everything, so he doesn't recognize me. And um, he's like, where's Crystal? I know she doesn't like, oops. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I just dropped that on my Yeezys. Oh my goodness. They're beige. Uh, sorry guys, hold on. Uh, gonna stain them shit oh well so he's like I don't I I know crystal doesn't like me but I am going to um I'm gonna say hi anyways and I look at him and I was like shut up and he's like oh my gosh I didn't even recognize you anyways so I get off work right and all my friends want to go to a bar and I'm like I am not going like this so I will meet you guys there so I go into the back I take off my makeup obviously there's a bunch of makeup there so I just throw something on really quick and I'm on my way to the bar so I get there and of course everybody's been drinking all night I'm super sober and I'm just like irritated I'm irritated that, you know, that this guy's her. I don't like him. I don't feel like I could be myself because I don't really know him. So I start drinking. Um, everybody's dancing, having a good time. And, um, he keeps like, like, um, not taunting me, but being like, oh my gosh, I don't understand why you don't like me. And, he just wasn't my cup of tea. You know what I mean? And uh, the night goes on. We're having fun. Um, when I get drunk, I get nice. Like, I don't know why. But people who usually would irritate me, like... The drunker I get, <laughs> that just fades away. Um, as the night's going on, I start laughing and being nice, but still in my head like, ew, you know? And um, this is literally like before closing. Because it was already late whenever we had got there. And, um... I go out to the bathroom. And there's a line. I'm waiting in line. And, um... I finally, I go into the bathroom and I realize, like, whoa. <laughs> Your girl's a little drunk, you know? So, I'm in the bathroom and... 
I start hearing like a scuffle outside. <clears throat> Woo! That went down the wrong pipe. So I start hearing a scuffle outside and I'm like, what the heck? And I just hear yelling and people arguing. So I'm like hurrying up, washing my hands, like trying to get out there to see, you know, <clears throat> because it's a, it's a local bar that everybody that goes, we know, you know, every, in the, everybody in the bar that night we knew except, so it's a camping ground also. And, um, so there's always a lot of out of towners there, you know, and, um, there was people in the campground that we didn't know, but there wasn't very many in the bar. But I do remember um, seeing those those people in there earlier. So I I go outside, and women's bathrooms are here, men's bathrooms are here, but then there's right past the men's bathroom there's stairs that go down. And, um, and I, I'm looking and it's, it's dark and I notice that it's my brother-in-law and which he wasn't my brother-in-law at the time. And dude, these two guys are beating him up. Like, like ugly, you guys. He's on the floor. And they're on top of him and one's punching and one's kicking and with all with every pound and force in my body I ran and I tackled the shit out of them I don't think they expect it because they kind of went flying you know they didn't brace themselves and I'm not a small girl, you know, um, whew. they go flying and that gives him just enough time to get up. And by that time, I am fighting them with all the might that I have. Because it's two big guys, and it's just me. Oh, I forgot eggs. Me and my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is not a big guy. Whew. Damn, that tastes good. I have oil everywhere. And so we're like, we're like fighting with everything that we have. And we're beating the shit out of these guys, you guys. Like, I think that was like the hardest I've ever fought in my life. Because <laughs> I'm just a girl, you know? Anyways, so. Finally, people come out and they're like, what's going on? What happened? I'm like, these guys were beating him up. And he was so grateful. Like, so grateful. And he asked me, what's all? Come on. I'm going to buy you a beer. I'm going to buy you a shot. Like, whatever you want, like you saved me, and I was just like, like, don't worry about it, you know, like, it's okay, I wasn't just gonna let him get beat up, you know, and, uh, he was so very grateful, ow, who will tell, post me, he was so grateful, and 
as the night went on, I remember him asking me, like, why did you do that? Like, you didn't even like me. And I'm like, like I said, I'm not going to let you get beat up, you know? Like, I don't care who you are. It's not right. It wasn't right for them to do that. And still to this day, I really don't know why um, that happened. I am... Um, yeah, that's a big old one. I never really asked him, like, you know, what happened that night. I don't know if they were gay bashing him or, or what, you know. None of my business. But, seriously, if it wasn't for that happening, me and Bubba probably wouldn't even be together right now because, like I said, I didn't like him. You know what I mean? And so, I guess, um, karma, you know, <laughs> was like, oh, okay, you know, you want to help someone you don't like out? Well, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna gift you, uh, the love of your life. <laughs> And so, yeah, you guys, after that, seriously, we became best friends, inseparable. Like, he became one of my favorite people. We hung out all the time. Um, yeah, all because I was at the, you know, What is it, right place at the right time? And seriously, I think if it was anybody else, I don't know if they would have been... Dude, these guys were big, you guys. Like, <laughs> when I tell you, like, I had to use all my force. I feel so crooked right now. Like, what is going on here? Um, I had to use all my force. I want another egg. My daddy didn't raise no bitch. Mm -mm. Come on, please. Mm. Why is this so good? It's just... Uh, I love it. Mm. Dude, I got oil everywhere. I'm going to have to mop right now. You know what? I think I told that story wrong. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I think we were floating that day. And it was just an occurrence. It was just an occurrence that... I don't remember. Dude, this was so many years ago, you guys. But I have a feeling the fight and the night that I was at work wasn't the same night. I think we were floating. Because I remember I remember those guys were on the the little bank. The little embankment because people come from like all around to float. I have a feeling that's what it was. And then when we got off floating, we weren't, he wasn't there. Uh -huh. He was at the bar when we got there. My brother-in-law. I think, I think that's what happened. I think so. I think the night before. Fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that same night. The night that I got off work, we we all met at the bar and he was there. But that's not the night the fight happened. I remember now. That was when I realized that I didn't like him. So, let me rephrase that. The day before, 
I'm at work. All my friends come and they show up with him. They all go to the bar. We go to the bar. Everything's fine. I'm like, ew, I don't like that guy. We go floating the next day. Go back to the bar and he's there. That's how it happened. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot that. That's how it happened. Now I remember. Yeah. All bad. I don't even remember my own story. Sorry, you guys still love me, right? You know what? These crawfish, they weren't that small. They were um, pretty good. Oh my goodness. I have little carcasses everywhere. But yeah. I can't believe I forgot that. Anyways, but yeah, that's how it happened. I went through all those napkins. Oh, my hands are so greasy, you guys. Man, I'm dusty on my uh, Buddha Chronicles, you guys. Dusty, crusty, and I love crawfish. You know what? I had made this sauce. And I had made it way too salty. But me like it's stupid. I was trying it. <laughs> Like, by the spoon and eating it. So, I made another batch and I'm like, dude, that's so salty. <coughs> because I'm not eating it with anything. I was like, whatever. Now that I'm eating it, I'm like, oh, duh. The saltiness is going to go away, like, oh, I'm dumb. I was trying to add, like, more brown sugar, <laughs> more lemon, to, like, balance it. I'm so dumb. Mmm. Mouth's burning. Damn it. I hate when they don't come out whole. I've been seeing crawfish all over my timeline on on um, TikTok. And I thought oh, so good. My goodness, they're so juicy. I cooked them with a orange juice, obey, lemon, a bunch of different seasonings. I 
and they're cooked perfect. I love when they just come out of the shell so easy. Oh. Oh. Luna's been looking at me this whole time. I should have want to come over and say hi. Mmm. Mmm. I cannot get over how good this is. Mmm. I had a whole stack of napkins. I don't know where the hell they went. I think I used them all. <gasps> My shoe is stained. Oh, man. All bad. My shirt's stained too. Oh, well. What are you going to do, right? All right, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. All my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for taking a chance on me. All my ride or dies, you guys right now, I'll see you. And yeah, I love you all, and I will see you in my next month one.